Alright guys, it's time for another shoe review. I'm out here, it's freezing cold, almost minus 10 degrees Celsius. We're gonna talk about the Lone Peak 3.0 Neo Shell Mid Edition from Ultra. So first of all, as I've said before, and I'm gonna say it again in this video, I'm a big fan of the Ultra brand. You know, uh, they do things a little bit differently from other shoe brands. In a nutshell, the key aspect of an Ultra shoe is that it is a zero drop shoe. So it says here zero drop, and that means that there is no drop from heel to toe. It's a flat shoe, allowing for optimal biomechanics. Uh, it's not really natural to have that high heel that a lot of other running shoes have. So that's, that allows for a more forefoot type of landing, uh, and that's a good thing. The other thing that's significant about Ultra shoes is that they have this wide toe box. It's pretty wide here in the front, and that's because that's how a foot looks. Your, your, your toes should be able to splay out when you're running. That gives you a better sort of uh, feel for the ground. And again, it's a, it's a more natural uh, biomechanical sort of pattern. So those two aspects make Ultra Shoes uh, something I really, really enjoy. Uh, let's talk about this shoe in particular. I have a fair few Ultra Shoes and I also have uh, three different uh, Lone Peak shoes. I have essentially this model just without the top hair, so just a normal shoe. That's what I'm actually wearing right now. Um, that's another review altogether. And then I also have one without the nail shell uh, that I have spikes in. And I'll talk about that another time too. Got this a couple of months ago and I'm really happy about it. What uh, sets this shoe apart, obviously, from the other models from Ultra and uh, normal running shoes is this part here. And uh, this essentially, why is, it, why is it there? Well, this is more of a hiking shoe, really. Like, uh, it really shines when it comes to hiking. And especially now during winter, uh, I thought to myself, you know, I'd like a shoe for my everyday just needs uh, that I also can run in. Um, because one of the things with the snow is obviously that if you don't have a high thing here, I don't know what to call this, <laughs> if you don't have this high thing, uh, things will, you get snow into your shoe all the time, right? If I'm just wait, walking around in these, there'll, get, there'll be snow coming into my shoe. So this allows for a little bit more protection against that uh, and against rocks and that, all that kind of stuff when you're walking. So I actually use this for the most part uh, as an everyday shoe. I, I, I wear, wear it every day and I, I love it. It's also pretty warm. Um, but I have went on a couple of runs with it too though uh, and it's really really nice. I mean a con obviously would be that it is slightly heavier than uh, the normal Lone Peak or other running shoes although still pretty light at I think around 377 grams which is pr still pretty light so I mean I, I would when I lift it up like this it's like wow that's a light shoe and people that see it and pick it up for the first time they always go like what? That's light. So it is a light shoe, but of course it is heavier than some other light shoes. Um, it's pretty stiff, which is good, but it also means that heading out on a run with these shoes, it does feel pretty clumpy. Like, I don't know, like it feels like you have a big block of something on your foot, which of course you do. It's a big shoe. Um, so I, you know, I, I wouldn't say that this is my favorite running shoe, but then again, it depends on the conditions because what this shoe is good for is really like tough, wet, or snowy conditions. Obviously, if you're running on ice and it's slippery, you should probably have spikes underneath. Um, but if not, if you're just running on snow, if you're running on trails and there's a little bit of snow that you have to run in. This is just, this is excellent because you're able to not get snow in there. And there's also a gator trap back here, which means you can put gators on it and you wouldn't get any snow or rocks or anything in there. Um, it's also pretty good for like if you were heading out in really like gnarly conditions, uh, wet, muddy, crazy conditions, you know, this would probably be a good idea uh, to use mountain kind of stuff. And then there's, there's the Neo Shell uh, technology, which essentially is it's waterproof. It's not entirely waterproof. You can't stand in water with it, but it's pretty waterproof. 
yet breathable from the inside and that's that's pretty that's pretty remarkable you can it's a breathable shoe yet it is quite waterproof so again for those kind of extreme conditions and if you're running in the snow etc it's nice it's nice to have that extra bit of uh, protection i find the sole is pretty pretty tough i mean it has a really good uh, you know grip and not only just like does it have a good grip on the trails etc but it actually has a really good uh, grip on like just snow and even ice. I mean, I went for a few runs without spikes in my shoes. Like when I go out with these, uh, you would think that I would like slip around, but it's actually a pretty good grip. So yeah, I'm, I'm impressed with, in general, the Lone Peaks. Again, this shoe as well. The grip is, it's remarkable in my opinion. Cushioning wise, it's, it's moderate. It's not like super light, it's not heavy either somewhat of a moderate cushioning kind of thing. Uh, I like it. It's an all-round tough shoe, right? If you want to go hiking in the mountain, in the snow, uh, if you want to go out in pretty tough conditions, if you go running, if you go walking, even as an everyday shoe, I find this shoe is a, is a really good choice. It is lightweight, yet of course a little bit heavier than some other shoes from Ultra. It's a good shoe just to have in your repertoire of shoes, that's what I think. It's just, it, it fits some conditions very well. And the only con that I can come up with, as I said, is, is really that when you're running in these shoes, it doesn't really feel as minimal and sort of ah free as as some other uh, lightweight uh, more m sort of movable shoes but uh, that's the point though i mean you're if you're using these shoes you're looking for a shoe that's tough and that's just the price you have to pay for wearing a tough shoe um, definitely worth checking out i'll put a link in the description uh, that's an affiliate link uh, so if you click that link it'll take you to the product and if you choose to buy we'll get a little bit of a commission for sending you there uh, so it's a win-win situation. The price remains the same for you though. So yeah, if you want to check out, check it out, if you want to buy it, uh, use that link. That's a good way to support the Lone Trail channel and get yourself a solid pair of shoes. And just a disclaimer, I bought these shoes with my own money. So it's an honest review. I, didn't get, I was not paid to make this review. Be sure to check out my review on the Ultra Superior 2.0. I made that review a few months ago. I'll put a link to it somewhere here. Um, be sure to check that out. Please subscribe if you haven't done so already. I'm going to make m lots more shoe reviews, gear reviews, uh, running vlogs, training talks, all kinds of stuff. If you're interested in running, um, you better subscribe. Thanks a lot for watching. Uh, share your thoughts with me in the comments. Be sure to check out the link to this shoe in the description. And I also have a link to lots of other gear that I like using. I hope you're having an awesome day. How's your running going? Let me know. Thanks for watching. See you around.